Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is next video in the series. We are making inventory management system. If you're new to my channel or you're coming back, welcome. And make sure that you hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create relationships of different tables in SQL Server. Okay, that's what we are going to do that. And you can see that we have created these tables. So we'll start from the top. Uh, first table and we will go uh, and create a relationship between these tables. So let's go ahead and do that. To create a relationship, we'll go to the uh, design view. So right click on the table and design view. Here we are. Now let's look at what exactly is the uh, foreign key here so we can create the relationship for that. So I can see only one, although you can see reference ID Reference ID, although it is a foreign key, but it's not linked to one table. It is linked to the purchase table. It is linked to the sales table. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you must watch the previous video than this. Then you will understand what do I mean by that. Okay. So we're not going to create a link or relationship for this reference ID. However, we are going to create a relationship for the of the product ID with the products table. So we have a table called products. If I'll go to design view of this table, you can see that this is a primary key that resides in the primary table products, but the product ID here in the accounting table is the secondary key or foreign key. So we are going to create that relationship, okay? So to create a relationship, we will uh, click on this icon called relationship and we'll get a blank screen, which means there is no relationship at the moment uh, for this table right now. So to create a relationship, we click add. And now we can, um, we can, for example, come here, all right, and expand table and column specification, and we click on dot, dot, dot. Here we have a different view. So right now, what we're looking at, the primary key table, the foreign key table okay so in this in this table the foreign key is the product id okay so if i will see here the product id and that resides in the uh foreign table that is accounting the primary table for the product id is of course the products so we select the products and we select the product id okay and here we go, we come back again here and we choose product, okay? So product ID and the product ID in primary and foreign key table, uh, that's what the relationship we would like to create. Okay, so the ID is created and we'll click close. Okay, now if we would like to do the testing, for example, testing we can only do when we will have some data. Right now, there is nothing in these tables, okay? So uh, we, we can't really do anything with that, but I will try to make sure that we do the testing a little bit, okay? Just to show that there is a relationship, we can click on that relationship icon again, and we can see that accounting product ID, products and product ID. So that's the uh, relationship which is created. There's no uh, other field that requires a relationship, so we'll close that and we'll say yes, save it, okay? And it says that um, uh, these two tables will be affected and I'll say yes to it, okay? Now the next table we have is customer, so let's go to the design view of the customer table and uh, here this table doesn't require because it doesn't have any foreign a uh, key or foreign ID in this table so so we'll close that we'll go to the inventory table this table will certainly have some foreign keys so product ID uh, there is a, a foreign key that's very very important again we create a relationship with the products table because products uh, ultimately products is the key of the inventory management system okay so we'll click on relationship and we'll click add We'll expand this here, tables and columns specification, and we click on dot, dot, dot. And in here, we will go to the products because remember, we are creating the relationship. 
between the product ID from the primary table, which is products, to the uh, product ID in the inventory table, which is the foreign key table. Okay, so we save that and we click OK. Close. There we go. That's it. The relationship is completed. So let's save that and it will ask the confirmation. We'll say yes. So next we have the products table. So let's create a relationship and let's see what foreign key exists here. So I can see that the category ID is one of the foreign key because we have a product category uh, table right there. So we'll create a relationship because this table already has two relationships created that we have that I've just demonstrated uh, in this video. You will see this uh, if I'll click on relationships you will see that these two tables, uh, two relationships with the accounting table and with the inventory table. Two relationships are already created. So let's create a third one. And this will be, uh, if I will go here and dot, dot, dot. And in here, we will go to the uh, primary key, which is the primary key table, which is product category table. And in here, the category ID is the primary key. And then in here, the category ID is the foreign key in the products table. Okay, so we'll click OK. Another relationship gets created and we will close that. We will save it and we will say yes to it. Okay, I don't think there is any other relationship that needs to be uh, created in this table. So let's close that. Let's go to the uh, product category table. It doesn't have any foreign key purchase table will definitely have a product uh, the foreign key okay uh, no not really okay that's interesting purchase details table huh? definitely will have the uh, some of the foreign keys okay so purchase id and product id so two uh, relationships we have to create so purchase id will click on the relationship add and dot 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 and in here, we will go and say the primary key table is purchase table. And we are looking for the purchase ID. And then for the purchase details, we are looking for the purchase ID as well. So we are linking those, uh, those two tables with uh, the purchase ID. We'll click OK. And remember, there's another relationship that needs to be created. And that is with the product ID. So to do that, I'll click add and we'll expand it and we'll click on dot, dot, dot. And because this is being created with the products uh, ID, so we'll choose the products table, primary table, and the product ID is the primary key. The secondary key is the product ID in the purchase details table. We'll click OK. We'll click close. And we'll say yes to save, control S, and we'll say yes, please save it. Okay, so these are the relationships created. Now let's go to the sales table. Let's uh, go to design view. And in here, there's nothing like the purchase table, but the sales details table will definitely have like the purchase details table. So here also, two, actually two, uh, we have to, create a relationship, one with, with the sales order and the sales table and the other one with the product table. So let's go ahead and create a relationship. We'll click add and we'll expand it, dot, dot, dot. So first we'll look at the sales table and we will have the sales order ID and we will link that with the order ID here, okay, in the sales detail. Let's create another relationship with the products so for that, we'll expand it, dot, dot, dot. By the way, you don't need to expand. I just have this habit, weird habit, so I keep expanding. But it's not required to expand. You can click on dot, dot, dot straight away. Okay, the products, uh, right? So the product ID, and then in here, product ID again. There you go. Okay, so relationship created, let's close that and it will ask for the save. Yes, another confirmation bar message, yes. Okay, supplier, does it have any product, uh, sorry, foreign key? No, it doesn't have any foreign key. 
transaction type does it have any foreign key uh no it doesn't have any foreign key so that's how you create the relationships between two tables and uh, this is what i dem wanted to demonstrate now we have created the database successfully as of now i'm sure if there is any change we will come back and we'll do the change and i'm sure there will be something usually uh, but i hope that you have learned something i hope that it was useful if you like whatever you've seen smash the like button if you're still watching you're legend thank you very much for that and if you haven't subscribed please make sure that you do and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video that's it thank you very much and i will see you in the next one